Hello guys, welcome back. So, I know a lot of videos in one day, but it's been pretty amazing how fast stuff is progressing. I just got 222, which is a wonderful sign. And as I was cleaning, and I was cleaning altars in there, and I deconstructed the altars, and I took all the salto stuff, and I put it back in nature. It, it, there's a goddess, a goddess dressed in purple, that keeps urging me, sometimes she's wearing purple, sometimes she's wearing blue, really dark, wavy, beautiful hair, like kind of curly, saying, baby, you have to let go of this, you have to release this to the universe, it's time, if you really, really love him, you're releasing him, and you're not holding on, going, eh. so we did this, and I cleaned everything. I cleaned all the altars. We discussed openly, like Dionysus and everybody. They are back. They're kind of giving me that <laughs> look. But, you know, they're back and they're being loving and supporting. And as I'm getting done cleaning the altars, I heard this morning dove outside. Now, that could be five billion goddesses. It could be Aphrodite, which I thought of, but it could also be Zili. Um, I moved easily and Ogu back up front where they belong on the hearth altar. <laughs> I moved some stuff around. We got rid of some stuff that's no longer serving us that I was kind of on the fence about. And Dionysus loves to redecorate. He's like, we're throwing this out. So, you know, it's been wonderfully healing. And it's sad that Odin doesn't want to be part of the change and part of the peaceful movement. But peace and love and healing, man, that stuff freaks him out. And, you know, it's kind of like you're seeing it. You're seeing the guys that have been taught to be brutish and violent and attack anything they don't understand with fear and rage and aggression. You're seeing them come out of the woodwork, right? And you're seeing them be very pissed, pissed off about how dare people talk about love and peace and healing and equality and sharing what the hell's wrong with all of you. We grew up with Sesame Street and values, what can I say? It's like, it's the common sense thing, it's what so many of us want. Remember, I was born in the 70s, so you still have that peaceful hippie love going on. And it's what so many of us want, and my parents would call me a hippie, and my dad would mean it as a slur, and my mom would just be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Um, they didn't get it. They didn't get dropping out and not going to war. They didn't get being peaceful and saying, hey, maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe I don't believe in your cause and I'm not going to hurt other people. Um, as much as I was raised in gun culture and knife culture and raised in a combative environment, um, I'd rather have peace. It doesn't mean I won't fight you. I'm a child of Ogu. Of course I'll fight you. <laughs> but, you know... Ogus also know how to be peacemakers, and they know that, you know, you might take heavy losses in a time of change, but you just kind of look down and you're still moving ahead, and you just keep moving on. You can cry about it later. Um, I told Ogu I thought, like, felt like I got an arm cut off, and he goes, hmm, you're fine. And, you know, it's that Ogu thing of, baby, you gotta keep moving forward. This is war. You're gonna have losses. You're gonna have threats move forward and the other ogus because it's a huge family start to move back in and the zillies come in and the balance come in and the gay day come dancing and singing in and everyone else is like he's really gone is this a trick is it a trick and then they come in and then they're like oh boy i got like 30 other gods i always wanted you to meet so <laughs> it's a celebration and they've been very timidly you know, saying, would you like one burger? Would you like one hot dog? And I know what they mean. I could walk up for one. Um, I said, you know what? Let's make something at home. We have that beautiful rice. And we are we do make the rice so often vegetarian. And then we switch it up a little bit with some meat. And Lord Ganesh is fine with that. He's like, he doesn't expect me to go totally vegetarian. So we had some lovely, what is it, baby sriracha or something? It's it's a beautiful kind of spam, and it's like really super tasty, so we're making that because La Santa has been helping adjust stuff, and it's really beautiful. I got 222, and I got that morning dove, and the yogas are, you know, encouraging me, and they're saying, you know, it takes a hell of a lot of strength not to react to violence or threats or anger with peace. It really does. Peace is me is spat on in this country and it's looked at as weak. It's looked at as being too cowardly to fight. It's something a northern attitude is never going to really understand. They're really not. But it takes a fucking lot of strength 
to stand there and be peaceful in the midst of a storm, in the midst of hate, in the midst of attacks. It takes a hell of a lot of strength not to go give in to the human urge to punch somebody in the nose. <laughs> and you, you know you want to pop them one, but you have to be peaceful. It's a peaceful warrior mindset. Are there times we have to stand up and fight? Yes, but when you're making a change and you're making a peaceful change, it's not one of them. Peace can actually be a form of combat. It's a very unsettling form of combat because you're pushing out with love. And when you push out with love, you're pushing everything else out of the way. War and anger and hatred and everything else. <laughs> and you don't know what to do. The Ogos, the Ogos are fun. The Ogos are adaptable. If we went to real peace tomorrow, the Ogos would still be making shit, building bridges and everything. They would be happy. They would be totally fine. Ogu adapted. Ogu, you know, learned his lessons over time and he adapted. Is he still kind of explosive and fiery? Hell yeah. But he's like, oh, I like his peace thing because this means more stuff for everybody. <laughs> so he's been wonderful. The Azili's have been wonderful. And, you know, all the gods and goddesses have been wonderful, and the Egyptians are happy, and Isis was like, oh, so she cleaned my statue, I see. So I'm getting sass, but I'm getting well-deserved sass, and Athena's just been like, fine, okay, so I guess we're talking to you now, whatever. So <laughs> I'm getting that. But they're doing it from a place of love. Um... Instead of sitting me down and giving me a lecture, making me cry, it's like everybody's just going to be a tiny bit of a jerk about it. But they're being loving and they're being supportive. And I'm literally getting images of the Ogus picking me up off the ground, being like, okay, baby, you got to walk forward, you got to march forward, you got to do this thing, and you got to stay in the fight. Not just for changing from Ogu, but for changing, you know, if we want peace, if we want to support this stuff, we gotta keep on changing. And every so often I look at my COVID thing, because I'm still donated to that, and I understand how much money I've donated. I'm like, no, <laughs> I could have got something. But then I remember it's for the greater good. It's not only going to help people globally, but it's going to help Black Lives, especially in this country, because... They're unfairly, you know, devastated by this disease and by this virus. So it's it's fighting on all the fronts, which is a good thing. And it's a peaceful thing to do. You know, I'm not funding the war machine, which is great. <laughs> I am an utter failure in Odin's eyes. But, you know, it's, it's really good. And I'm not saying, you know, this isn't for an issue of, you know, there are times you have to defend yourself and stand up and fight. Of course there are, but... This is a time for peace. This is a time for healing. And it's going to be painful. And there's going to be a lot of anger and aggression break out here and there. But ultimately, you know, that's what birth is. It's it's painful and it's messy. So I just wanted to catch you guys up. We're, we're cooking the sriracha spam. I think it's sriracha. And we're we're going to make that with the rice and we're going to have yummy. So we're celebrating. I did all the hard work of cleaning the altars and getting rid of the stuff. And doing the letting go ceremony, so now we get to celebrate. So, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Sorry about that traffic. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.